I'm Matt Anderson, a curator with the Minnesota Historical Society, and behind me is one of the Society's real treasures, a battle flag from the 28th Virginia Regiment captured by members of the 1st Minnesota Volunteer Infantry Regiment during the third day at Gettysburg during the Civil War. The 1st Minnesota is one of the great stories in our state's history. They were the very first volunteer infantry regiment pledged to fight in support of a Union cause during the war. Our governor at the time, Alexander Ramsey, happened to be in Washington, D.C. at the time word was received about the attack on Fort Sumter, and he personally pledged 1,000 men in support of the Union cause. President Lincoln gratefully accepted the offer, and before long, the 1st Minnesota was mustered out at Fort Snelling and sent to the east to engage in some of the big campaigns of the first years of the war. The 1st Minnesota was at Bull Run, it was at Antietam, and of course it was at Gettysburg. It was on the second day at Gettysburg that the 1st Minnesota received its greatest glory. They were near the center of the Union line when the line was in danger of collapse. Union commanders realized they needed to buy some extra minutes to bring up reinforcements to support that hole in the line. Looking around, they spied the 1st Minnesota and ordered them to make a diversionary charge against a superior Confederate force. The 1st Minnesota made that charge and suffered greatly for it. 82% casualties were inflicted on the unit, but they held against the Confederate force and bought the necessary time for reinforcements to be called up and the Union line to be saved. Again, on the third day, the 1st Minnesota was at the center of the Union line. This time, they faced the onslaught of Pickett's charge, and they were in one of the few places where the advancing Confederates actually made it through the heavy Union defense. At the time of that charge, Marshal Sherman, a private in the 1st Minnesota, captured this flag from the advancing 28th Virginia. Sherman turned the flag into his superiors, as he was supposed to do, and the flag was cataloged in the War Department as a part of its collection. Sherman requested that the flag be brought back to Minnesota. The War Department sent it, and Sherman spent the next years of his life displaying it as a trophy of war. The flag has remained here ever since, and is now part of the Minnesota Historical Society. As you look at the flag, you'll see it looks a bit uneven sitting in its mount. It's in a special cradle designed to support it. Though the flag survived vicious battle, time has not been so kind to it. It's heavily faded and damaged from years of being exposed to ultraviolet light and changes in climate and humidity. You'll also notice that the flag is torn in many places and features many holes in it. Undoubtedly, those are evidence of the Battle of Gettysburg, bullet holes and tears from the heat of battle. Just as the first Minnesota is one of the great stories in our state's history, this flag is one of the true treasures of the Minnesota Historical Society.